Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome to a karaoke cafe build for Snowy Escape. I want to say that I am going to do a giveaway and I'm going to talk about it in this video, um, but I just want to start off by saying thank you to EA for giving me the code to give away as well as code for my own game. I did get early access, I did get a couple of days of early access, but as you can see, like this is kind of like a couple of weeks later, um, mainly because that EA has been doing this thing where they give some creators, like the bigger creators, like two weeks usually before um, like the game really releases to go ahead and make early access content. So like by the time you're seeing this, I think they like put out all their content like about a month ago. Um, and they've been adding some new creators, like some like middle, I'd say like middle kind of ground kind of creators, like ones that are like mid-level. Um, but I really hope they, they add some small creators as well because I kind of feel like small creators kind of like are left in the dark a little bit. We're kind of like a little confused on like what's going on all the time. Um, and yeah, I just, I would love that because I often find like this past year because of the whole coronavirus thing and like those people obviously aren't going to the events anymore that we kind of just don't know what's going on and I, I feel like we find out things kind of late. Um, I love the EA Game Changers. I ultimately feel like I'm, I'm always proud to be that, like be in it. But yeah, I just kind of hope in the future there's a little bit more transparency. I know that there has been some people, unfortunately, that ruined it kind of for the rest of us. Um, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully they will add, add some like new faces along the way because I feel like I have so a great idea all the time and then it like always gets taken <laughs> by the people who have early access well not that like an idea can get, get quote unquote taken but like in my head i'm kind of a perfectionist so i'm like oh my gosh okay i'm like i have to think about something completely different and then like here we go <laughs> i'm like finally i get a new idea like a couple of like weeks later like aka after uh, that my early access is done but you know what it's okay everything's all right everything's okay um we got there in the end because i kind of like sat back and watched some lps and things like that and i noticed personally what is missing from stowy escape is kind of like a lot that i feel like is more family orientated so what I mean by that is that, of course, there's like the snowy activities and things to do with your family, but like as far as like lots go, there's just bars and lounges, and I know there's a park, but um, yeah, I just felt like this is super fun because like, you know, we've seen karaoke bars before, but no one's really done a karaoke cafe, um, and this is like I would say like 98% snowy escape, so it's really, really close. I feel like the only thing you really have to add if you didn't have city living or um get together is like the bar from Zoe Escape and then like make like a microphone there instead of the karaoke machine but if you had those two extra packs then I, I recommend this for you because it, I thought it was kind of a cool lot. I thought it was something fun, something different than a karaoke bar. Um, but yeah, you could turn it into a karaoke bar too as well if you wanted to, just replace the bar. Um, but yeah, you I, hopefully you guys is like my idea because I was just like, you know, this is cute, something something like families could go to for you guys to play in. Um, obviously this is Japanese inspired like the pack Snowy Escape is. Um, so I hope I did it justice because um, I wasn't sure if like things were correct or not, but I did ultimately think this is a really cute um, build. I did have fun with the new platforms that came in a recent update and I just love to do the sunken part in the middle. Like I just think it's so cool. I love that this is a thing now because I can ultimately see that even like one story level homes are gonna get so much more dynamic now because you have the different levels but technically they're not a new floor and I just love it. I just think it's so cool because I don't know about you guys but when I personally play the game, like play play the game um, and like not build and stuff or create a sim, um, I love to play with like simpler homes, like one story level homes and things like that. And I really, really love obviously like building matches and things like that. And yeah, those are really cool. I feel like for a short amount of time, but usually for my main 
family i usually like to stick to like two levels or like one level just because it's really easy for gameplay to see and things like that but i really love this because it really makes everything just you know feel feel more i don't know flowy and just fun <laughs> um but yeah, so those of you guys are, that are new here and are here for the giveaway, um, welcome, welcome to the channel. I hope you stick around. Um, but yeah, I haven't set up the giveaway at the current time that I'm doing this, but I know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it through Gl Gleam. So Gleam is kind of a randomized um, like website that it like randomizes the entries. And your first requirement is just to be subscribed to me. And then after the video is over, you are going to go to Gleam. And then after that, it's going to ask you if you want to follow me on other platforms and like maybe retweet the video, the retweet like this video and like the link and stuff like that. Um, and you can go ahead and do that for like extra entries and like all of them will, will just be like extras, you know, for you to um, go ahead and enter with and higher your chances. And then after that, I want you to tell me what video of mine you guys are gonna probably watch next. Like, what looks the most interesting for you. And if you're someone who is a returning subscriber and you've seen a lot of my videos, you could just tell me one of my favorite videos of yours that you that you have done. Uh, my, no, 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 that it came out wrong. One of one of your favorite videos that I have done before. Um, so you could just like leave that down in the comment section below i'm not gonna ask you guys to like put your like name and handles in i'm just gonna contact you by email this time just because i usually get like 10 or so emails or sometimes more of people just asking me if they could just tell me like tell me in my email anyway so i feel like this way will just be easier for us all um and yes for those of you guys too that did like the shell challenge giveaway i still want to do a video highlighting your entries because they are so so cool i just got a little i just got a little swept up <laughs> in everything lately so um yeah hopefully Hopefully you guys will still you still you'll still be okay with me doing it even though late in the game because yeah I just been like a little bit off track like with my upload schedule lately I just been kind of like taking it easy I've been really like listening to what I feel like is best for the channel and kind of just kind of like relaxing taking it you know easy especially too because I feel like this year content creation has been kind of different because I feel like in the beginning so many people were watching so much YouTube and things like that but I ultimately feel like a lot of people now that um you know like lockdown has been a while and things like that that it has been kind of getting to the point I feel like where people are starting to like do other hobbies and things himself um and if you're here you could tell me if you've picked up any hobbies or anything like that through i guess like your time home from march or so if you're home if you're not um i hope you're all staying healthy of course and if this video is just past at thanksgiving so i hope you guys are having lovely holidays as well and you guys are ultimately keeping safe <laughs> but yeah moving on from from like what I'm saying in the giveaway, um, I ultimately wanted to talk about too about the about the save file because um, I am going back to the save file and I ultimately am doing. I think maybe I'm gonna do what else will I do? Am I gonna do summer dreams next? I don't know. Now I'll tell you guys. You guys will see what household I'm doing next for the Veronaville um, save file. But I ultimately have one last herb, like apartment that I'm doing before I go back to. Um, be not before. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like not explaining things well. Okay, before I decided that I was going to go ahead and prioritize Veronaville, I made an apartment for the herbs version of the save file. Now that save file isn't going to come until after I finish Ronaville, but I do really want to go ahead and put it out soon for you guys because I did it a while ago and I really like it and I figured why wait until I'm doing the herbs just to put it out because it's pretty cool and I don't know. I still feel like out of all of the worlds, um, San Machino is one of my favorite just because I love the city worlds and I find them usually so unique. Um, and yeah, I just feel like I'm ultimately kind of, 
I'm saying ultimately a lot. Like, <laughs> take a sh like take a shot or like take a sip of water. <laughs> That's probably healthier for you. Um, every time I said um, ultimately in this video, um, if like platforms work with them, I'm really I'm I'm I want to test that out. I really really do um, because I've seen some people do some like really cool like loft like things like with like builds and like rooms. So I'm really. I'm really excited to like see if they work with apartments and things like that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm get I'm assuming they'll at least work with um the penthouse like lots, but I don't know. We'll go ahead and see. But yeah, as you can see, the build is going coming together. Um and I'm just using like a lot of different things just to like make it look so so freaky cool i ultimately think to there you go see with ultimately <laughs> um that the signs from city living came in real real handy so if you have snowy escape and you're wondering what is a good pack um to pair with this i would say city living is probably perfect because it kind of matches the vibe a little bit um and yeah i put a little shrine there as well in front because i did have like the sauna thing not the sauna thing like the hot spring the hot springs there you go but i was like mm, that's kind of weird if people are trying to use the hot springs at a cafe so i just put like a little like shrine thing i think it is but it looks like a a well to me in front that just looks really relaxing and yeah i just i really like it i think it i think it came together i think it's cute um if you don't think it's cute, that's okay. I think it's cute. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I thought it was adorable because I ultimately think to, again, ultimately, okay. I need to stop saying ultimately. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that should be the, the code word of the video. If you've, if you stayed at like three fourths way for the video, <laughs> you can, you can comment ultimately too, besides what I like asked you to about like what video you want to see next or like what video that was your favorite if you're like a returning subscriber and you've seen my videos a lot <laughs> ultimately could be your cold code word <laughs> but yeah as a, what was i saying again oh my god <laughs> oh oh yeah 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 so like i did the shrine thing because i thought it was super duper cute with um the outside kind of world instead of like you know the hot spring things because I thought yeah, that would be a little bit weird if people were trying to use like a hot springs at a cafe and I thought too that at this cafe I don't know if you guys have seen this on like tumblr or pinterest or something but you guys know that really cute cafe art like where they like make cats and things like that like with the foam that's kind of like how I see this cafe would be like it would be kooky it would be something unique something different kawaii <laughs> it would be cute like that um especially too if you're brave enough to do karaoke at a cafe and you don't need the alcohol to do it <laughs> or i guess in this case the juice to do it um because i don't think i could i'm a kind of a terrible singer <laughs> but i think it would be fun i think that would be really fun um yeah i i just feel like there needs to be more things for teens and kids and families to do in the sims 4 i really 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 want a generations pack like i really want that i know a lot of people wanting a farming pack but personally i want a generations pack before i see a farming pack because we're in so much of a need of it like i know parenthood was really cool um but the gurus i think have said that they definitely see a generations being different than parenthood and i just think it would just bring or hobbies i think hobbies would be really good too um just to bring more into the sims 4 because i kind of think that the sims 4 is really really good at bringing new scenery beautiful worlds and things like that but ultimately ultimately again <laughs> i think is lacking in it is the Kind of the reason to do it do you know what i'm trying to say like the the flowingness of it the reason for your sims to like do so much hobbies and things like that like there's no re there isn't there isn't much of a reward for things i guess i should say like there it feels more organic and like things just feel like more detail oriented there you go that's what i'm looking for and like the older um 
like the older games and I just feel like there just needs to be a little bit more back of that and I really feel like a Generations pack especially would bring that to the table. Um, yeah, and that's what I have to say. <laughs> so, what have you guys been up to lately? Have you guys seen any new shows? Yeah, comment down below if you guys have any new shows you guys want me to watch. Because I feel like I've seen so many Christmas like movies lately on Netflix. And I feel like I could use some new recommendations. I've seen Dash and Lily, which was a TV show. Super duper cute. That's my recommendation if you guys haven't. Um, seen it yet. I It was really adorable. I really liked it. Um, the characters were cute. And yeah, what else have I been seeing? I don't know. I, I feel like that's really my only recommendation off the top of my head right now. Um, but yeah, that's that was also really cute. Um, one video that's, oh, that's coming up is one actually for you guys that like challenges. I have a video highlighting different challenges and I've been brainstorming more ideas lately because i feel like i've been getting i feel like i've been getting into the pattern of me having one really great idea and then like having nothing like for like two to three weeks later <laughs> so i've been brainstorming ideas in like a notes app on my phone and i've been really liking that also to something that i have been obsessed with is tiktok so my friends have always sent me text messages with tiktoks and i was like for the longest time like no i'm not gonna do that i'm i'm not like the other girls <laughs> you know um but then i finally downloaded it and i was like oh okay so this app isn't just for like 14 year olds not that if you're 14 that isn't and if there's anything wrong it's just i'm a grown woman so i ultimately didn't really feel like there was a lot of people you know like in their mid to like later 20s and early 20s and things like that on TikTok, but apparently there is and apparently there's a lot of videos that I could see why people get really like lost in them. Um, and yeah, we're getting towards like the end of the video so you guys can see how it came together. Yep, I put a dumpster in for you guys too that just like the dumpsters from Eco Lifestyle. So if you guys want to go garbage picking, then you can in this world. Even though I kind of feel like this world wouldn't have a lot of dumpsters in it. I just feel like I see this world very, this world being very clean and pure and just very beautiful because of all the nature around. But I put it just because it's a public place and why not? <laughs> I ultimately think this world too is absolutely gorgeous and that is one of my favorite things about PAX and The Sims 4 is the worlds that come with it. They're ultimately so so beautiful and we're coming to the end of the build. Um, so yeah go enter my my giveaway um, and hopefully I will see you guys returning soon. Don't forget to comment those things I asked and enjoy the screenshots okay? Bye bye bye! Get bad we can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down In my life without you would be boring And we'll spend nights Cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now I don't wanna let you down